Um, obviously, I know you guys played Monday night. You have a Kentucky on um, Saturday, and then obviously back in the Big 12 play. Is Coach giving you guys any time off, any rest? Has anything changed this week as you guys kind of prepare for this this last, I guess, push or stretch? Oh, uh, yeah, we had a day off, and yesterday we met and uh, went over like some defensive coverages and, and put some shots up and stuff like that. Um, main focus is just, you know, they got a really good player in, in Oscar. You know, he's, he's, he gave us problems last year, so just figuring out, you know, what it's going to take to, to slow them down as much as we can. What what does it take, or how do you attack them, or what kind of what's what stands out about them? Obviously, it's more than Oscar, but he's a he's a guy that's going to crash the boards and um, cause some problems. Uh, just just keep somebody on them at all times, being physical with them. Uh, you know, he's such a strong dude. We gotta gotta have guys that's willing to, to be physical and, and touch him first, and you know, not allow him to get comfortable, and you know, set it, set our presence in the paint. And that's how the game's going to be. One, if, if, if they're going to be successful, it's going to be in the paint. So if we can just take that away, we'll be in good shape. How's Juan doing? What do you, what do you see in practice? He look rested, yeah, back doing, to his old self. Yeah, he's doing great. His uh, his energy's been 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 terrific. Uh, being the point guard that he is, uh, you know, his 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 spirit's been more uplifting, and you know, he's he's ready to win. I think you know, after losing three games in a row, we're all just like, you know, what do we need to do to win? And, I think our, our energy has been the main thing that's picked up just for uh, for getting ready for another big game. Same question about KJ. How's he getting? KJ's been great. He's uh you know he's a winner. He's always gonna find a way to, to get better and, and win. And you know especially in tough times like this, this is when you know we all come together as a team and, and show uh, how unified we are and how determined we are to, to turn things around. Kentucky uh, has won four in a row. They seem to have turned it around. Do you follow them, and do you think that's going to help them a lot since they're on a winning streak? Uh, yeah, they've they've, uh, they've definitely turned around this season. But uh, you know, we're looking for wins like they are. So it's not really up to to which streak they're on. It's about who's going to play best that day and uh, who's going to be the better team that day. And you know, if we can. Limit them in the paint, limit their points in the paint, their touches in the paint, then I think we'll be just fine on that end. What does it mean to you that you're number one in all time wins and they're number two? Uh, it means a lot. You know, it's a lot of pride on the table. You know, it took a, it took a lot from us last year to, to get ahead of them. So, uh, you know, all those wins are uh, just a representation of everyone who's sacrificed to, to win here. And, you know, to, to carry that is, is, is a great honor. And I was wondering, have the players had any special meeting like where you get together? Sometimes in the past, during bumps in the road, the teams had meetings. I uh, know we all just came together as a team, kind of after the loss, um, you know, here recently, and just 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 coming together to figure out what it, what it's going to take. And I think it's pretty evident that teams have, have scored on us pretty easily, um, more than usual. And I think defense and making teams playing bad and, and getting back to that is, is what it's going to take to, to, you know, get these wins back piled up. So uh, it hasn't taken anything crazy. Like I said before, uh, it's not like we don't know what it is. It's just we got to execute it. Jalen, you were on the, on the team during the last three game losing streak back in 21. Um, from a coach's perspective, is the message that he had then the same one as he's had this year or is it different? It's, it's been pretty much the same. Um, you know, it, we have all the, the great players and, and tools to win games. So, you know, when we do lose games, it's, it's pretty evident on why most of the time. And, and as of late, uh, teams have just been scoring here, here lately pretty easily. Um, and our first halves haven't been the best. You know, teams have, have got out on us pretty early. So we've just been trying to focus on keeping that to a, to a limit as much as we can and, you know, starting games off strong. You mentioned it there, but I guess what is the key to having better starts in these games? Uh, probably just coming out with, with, with more intensity, more energy, um, having more fun out there, you know, not really worried about what last game was and, and who we're facing, just, just playing our game, not really worried about, you know, what they want to do and, and how they want to do it, more focused on, you know, what we need to do to win. Got time for a couple more. Jalen, you talked a second ago about getting back to the defense. Um, a couple years ago, you were part of that, where, where you guys turned it around late in the season and, and really kind of flipped the switch and, and became a pretty good defensive team. Do you draw on that? Do you remember that? Does Coach talk about that? You were a part of that, so I wonder how much yeah. that's playing right now. For sure. Um, you know, last, well, yeah, like two years ago, we, we definitely struggled a lot. And I figured, uh, you know, once we all bought in and saw that, you know, if we could just take care of the defensive end, offense is going to come. And, you know, it's not that we're not scoring. It's just teams are scoring 
at just as fast as rate as us. And, uh, you know, in the Big 12 with how tough it is, you're not gonna be able to trade buckets all the time. Um, you know, having a horse contest probably isn't the smartest thing to do when every team in the, in the conference this year is really good with really good players. And I think at that point in time, years ago, we, we all just decided to, to lock in on defense and worried about that only because we knew offense was gonna come. And I figured the same type of thing happens now then we'll be fine going forward. Also the other night at, at Baylor, you talked about boxing out not jumping with guys. Have you emphasized that? Not just you, but the whole team. I mean, has that been an emphasis all week? Of course. Uh, you can't jump with Oscar. You know, he, he gets rebounds for a living. And, you know, with a guy like his size, with, with players around him, they're, uh, they're tough when he's getting rebounds like that, especially uh, second chance points. So uh, that'll be the one of the biggest emphasis um, as far as just taking him out the paint and, and limiting his rebound. And, and Coach has talked a lot. He talked after the Baylor game, I think on his radio show about these last three games were against good teams. And, yeah. and does that help you guys kind of settle um, during this streak? I mean, maybe some perspective? Yeah, I mean, losing one game by one point, and then, you know, these last two games uh, have been pretty pretty tough. But, you know, like, like Coach said, they're all, I mean, top 15, top 20 teams. So it's not like it's just an embarrassment. It's just, you know, how can we fine tune things quickly and uh, understand that all teams in the Big 12 are going to lose games. It's not just us. I mean, we lose three games in a row. We're still in right, right shape to uh, to win the conference. Uh, you know, that's how good our conference is this year. And if we can just worry about whatever's in front of us and not, you know, what's behind us, we'll, we'll be fine. Jalen, I know you mentioned you guys struggled against Oscar last week. Can you talk about a little bit what you've learned from that experience and how you guys are going to go back to that on Saturday? Yeah, we just gotta we gotta bring the the physicality to him. You know, he's a he's a beast in there. And I think last year we. Uh, we weren't as locked in on, on, you know, what he was capable of doing as far as, you know, taking over a game in the in the paint. And, you know, he's doing it all again this year. So we'll just have to, you know, really put put guys on him, box him out, uh, you know, make someone else on the team get a rebound. And and I think we do that, you know, that'll, that'll limit a lot of their second chance points and opportunities. Thanks, Jalen. Thanks, Jalen.